doing? Talking to the love of my life. She said, can I see you one more time? And I said, uno momento, baby, let me finish this. Barf. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid ranks. We did some Corbett. I'm Brett. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Also, I'm personally in your links in the description below. Today, we're doing a another EIC video. We've done oh. a few of them. One, the Donald Trump song. The other one was the um, Trump and Kim Jong Un song. They've been had to just, yeah, bring it. I'm but ready. this one's called EIC Sex Education in India. Excellent. And I don't know, I don't think this is like a song one like the other ones. I think this okay. is more of like the. Just like a skit? A skit kind of thing. Um, but that's a pretty funny concept. I don't know what the. I can guess what the concept of a sex education in India would be. Didn't we see a sex funny one that was done by. Oh, it was a while ago. We don't react to a lot of sex videos on the channel. No, but you say sex every time I go live on Instagram. That's true. Um, we did, a long time ago, mm. like a year and a half ago. We did, we did one that involved sex and the two guys were joking about penis size. Totally. <laughs> but, all right, here we go. <laughs> Good morning, Peter. Good morning, students. Today, we are going to talk about <laughs> education. <laughs> Sambo, Shiksha. So, now we will learn about reproductive system. This is the male reproductive system. <laughs> Other one. <laughs> oh, God. Any questions? Uh, so? Anyone? No. Yo. Anyone? Anyone? No? No? Good. Now, obviously, all you young people want to know how does Yon Sangam happen? Watch carefully. First, Kundli is me. <laughs> if you're Manglik, no Sambo. Sorry. Then, Parents meet. Then wedding meet. Then swagrat. <laughs> now we all know what happens at the swagrat. What happens, sir? Tell us. We don't know. Beta, uh, the boy inserts his uh, Indian culture <laughs> values, and then we all know what happens. A baby is born. No, stupid. Please take out the textbook. I mean, the books. Chapter 6 for the house. It's poor Pakistani conspiracy. We are a gift from God. Exactly. When you marry a girl, then God gives you a gift. If you are a girl, then you have to write a written policy. Oh, God. 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 Very good question, Subramanian. I'll tell you. 1.3 billion gods into one blessing is equal to 1.3 billion babies. Any more important questions? Anyone? Sir. Yes? Anyone? 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 You? You? Anyone? Nobody? Okay, no problem. Moving on. Now we are going to talk about a very dangerous topic. A lot of young people are doing this badam dood drinking without suagra. This is against Indian culture. That is why the health ministry has removed one documentary that I am going to show you now. My name is Mubesh. I have been doing this for three years. Now I am in my head. I am sleepless. अफसोस मुकेश बच न सका उसकी गर्लफ्रेंड बार डांसर बना उसकी छोटी बहन एक रोटी बन गई उसके बड़े भाई की नसबंदी हो क्या आप भी मुकेश बनना चाहते हो 
देखा आप लोगों ने सावधानी नहीं बरतोगे तो ऐसा ही होगा इसीलिए वी हैव टू गो बैक टू सम बेसिक्स क से होना प्यार है डू इट ओनली विद समवन यू लव ह से खिलाड़ी करेक्ट डोंट बी अ प्लेयर अब की बात एक ही से प्यार व्हाई दे सब अब व्हाई दे सब या इन ह से पैंट <laughs> That was great. Yeah. Ha se gadni. Don't forget Indian values. So but how is it even relevant? So you haven't even taught us anything. Hey, this is government approved syllabus. But so we already know more than this. So we are almost 18. Do you think it's stupid? Theek hai. Mujhe kya puchna hai? What is homosexuality? होमोसेक्सुअलिटी नहीं होमो संगम अरे बॉयज एंड बॉयज आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ इंडियन कल्चर बॉय मैन इज बॉय नो डाउरी नेक्स्ट सो बट व्हाट अबाउट लेस्बियन हां लेस्बियन तो नाइस बेटा सी गर्ल मैन इज गर्ल डबल डाउरी नाइस नेक्स्ट सो दिस इज नॉनसेंस हाउ कैन यू कॉल दिस अ सेक्स एजुकेशन क्लास आई मीन व्हिच एरा आर यू लिविंग इन This is 2014. Do you not watch movies? Do you not use the internet? Hey, you do not try to teach me your internet nonsense. Indian values are bigger than internet. Indian values don't create babies. Sex does. You are teaching us here about sex, and you you refuse to say the word. Say it now, sex, sex, sex. Anytime in life. Sex, sex. Why are you not saying sex? I mean, it's it's just that simple. कुछ भी नहीं है रे रेक्टिव देख रेक्टिव Guys, you are so immature. Next videos. but it's also sad yeah because we know from a lot of stupid babies communicating with us and yeah. some we've gotten to know really well yeah. that it is stigmatized that yeah. sex is deeply stigmatized and like parents don't talk about it with their kids and porn is the primary place where a lot of kids learn about sex so it's it's that's sad yeah, it's it's i mean it's stigmatized obviously in the united states still as well not as much as it used to and i don't think as much as 
it is in India anymore. Right. Obviously. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's it's great. But the, the Phantom one was just That was fan. Genius. Fantastic. But I'm glad we just saw this now because if we saw this a year ago, I'm not sure if we would have caught we, it. I don't think we would have We've watched enough films with that as part of the well, beginning. It's on your cushion. Yeah, we've seen at least 10 with that opening. Uh, <laughs> which is hilarious. But yeah, it's, it's, they're a very funny group. Uh, yeah. They're a funny comedian. Every, I think everything we've seen from them has been quite, quite funny. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't know if it's changing a lot. It looks sex education. And I don't even know what sex education is like in schools now, because obviously uh, I've been in high school in 10 some years. Yeah, I think I remember asking, I guess I could ask, you know, Ashley, Alexis, and Micah, they're all out of school. I mean, Alexis and Micah are taking college courses right now. Yeah. But when they were in school, um, you know, they were homeschooled. Uh, did Harvest ha have anything like that? <laughs> no. No, because I, I've, always, I've always thought it was weird that the education system feels the need that should be taught at home and it should be taught in a way that's celebrating this gift. I've never, I talk about it all the time with my kids, just the other night we were talking about it. And I said it to Ashley, I said, why on earth would a parent not want their kid to have a freaking great sex life? Why wouldn't you want your kid to have, enjoy that blessing? But sadly, you have to have it because most parents are uncomfortable talking with their kids about it. I, I, it's unfortunate. I don't understand. Yeah. I don't either, but it's, I think it's probably the majority of parents are uncomfortable. Well, yeah. I don't think my generation is actually uncomfortable talking with their kids about it. I think my generation is actually very comfortable probably talking with their kids about most things because they Maybe, actually, yeah. they see the problems with what the past generations have done yeah. with not talking to their kids about a numerous amount of A bunch of stuff, just not being open about other stuff. Yeah, so I feel like my generation that is having kids now is actually, at least I would hope, and that's what I feel that most of them are, they, they're very well, open I, to talk about anything. It just sucks. Which is what it should be. Your parents should, should be the ones that obviously teach. Well, and then because what happens is for a lot of kids, their first introduction to anything sexual is typically movies, where they, internet, they, they yeah. yeah, movies, and well, and they're probably gonna ask their parents something because kids are inquisitive and gonna start asking questions. Now, obviously, if the kid's four and says, where do babies come from? You're not going to get explicit in your conversation. Daddy is bald back, son. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but what happens to a lot of people, millions of them, is this sense of that sex is shameful yeah. and it's wrong. And then they're not taught anything about sexual expression. So then when they finally do have some sexual expression with somebody, it's all... It's I just, feel like it's, that, oh. I can only speak from the Christian standpoint of in that genre, that realm, um, it's Christians stigmatize the hell out of sex. Because they don't, because obviously they teach, like they want you to wait, right? But then they also villainize it if it happens. Well, yeah. That's, well, that's a, that, like you could teach like, you can wait till marriage, that's fine, but they also stigmatize the hell out of it and, and while doing that. In all areas. Yes. They stigmatize uh, premarital sex. They stigmatize mm -hmm. adultery. They stigmatize homosexuality. They stigmatize yeah. unless it's done A B C D E. Yeah, and then it, it, it's stigmatized. It's stigmatized. Versus, and I, yeah. I, I've just thankfully I had parents who open were to talk to you, yeah. they were open. Ma, also, you know, my mom was extremely open. She was a beautiful woman. She was not ashamed of her body. Mm -hmm. She wore bikinis at the at the beach. She was a dancer and a, a aerobics instructor. Yeah. My dad was really almost too open with not his own stuff, but with just the freedom of expression. Yeah. That I I always grew up with the sense of I couldn't wait to talk to my kids about this beautiful thing in life. Yeah. And the, the best thing that ever happened, I may have shared this on the channel, was the day I went to walk with Micah to talk to him about sex in detail. Mm -hmm. And Alexis and Micah knew I was gonna go for the walk to talk with him. And uh, he's like, well, what's going on? He's like, dad's gonna talk with you. I was like, yeah, we're gonna go talk. And then as we're walking out, they're standing at the sink and Alexis says, and Micah, remember, dad talks with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!